All right, guys, welcome back. Um, in the interim between episodes, I actually uh, grabbed my little uh, gamer book that I've written down a bunch of different uh, things over the years to, for games like this. And I wrote down all of Alucard's spells he can get in the game. And that's them right there. Uh, Hellfire is obviously the fireball ones. If you hold up, it makes big, two big uh, fireballs. Dark Metamorphosis works for those guys I was telling you about if they're shedding blood, like if they're bleeding on you and you have this active, it heals you. Uh, Summon Spirit just shoots out a little uh, white spirit that goes around and just attacks for you. Tetra Spirit says the same thing, but there's more of them. This is the best uh, spell he's got. It, if you're just looking at it, it looks a little complicated. It's like back and then uh, half circle uh, forward to back and then forward again. And he drains all the HP out of everybody nearby and heals him. Um, it works good on bosses simply because it drains a lot of HP. And it's a good way to heal yourself, but it does take 50 MP. So like right now I have 54, so I have just enough to do it. Um, when you see the red arrow on Tetra Spirits, it means hold it for two seconds. And it does four. And then Tetra Spirits is that, or the, one, the Soul Spirits is that guy. And then obviously you can see my MP's like gone. Now you can't get to that until you can double jump. Um, I believe we're about to encounter a boss here very soon. Yeah. There's a save point and then you get a boss. So stock up on hearts as best you can. This is a good room to stock up on hearts because it's uh, a big hearts. And there's a save room right here. Also, it helps if I remember to set my timer so I don't go over on time for you guys. There we go. I'll do my little uh, quick save thing. And I've noticed when I upload Castlevania episodes, they've got uh, the whole content. Uh, like if Nintendo or Konami or them notice that they can hear your, their music in your game, in your video, you have to acknowledge it, otherwise they can just sue you. So I've had to do that on uh, the Castlevania videos I've uploaded so far. I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is weird. They didn't really do it for Zelda, which I thought was odd. I think that's good enough. Oh, this is kind of annoying. I like the effects though, it's kind of cool. Dun dun dun. Easiest way to beat him is literally do this. He does do the bat. It's not too tough of a fight. It can be if you get you cornered. Um, other than that, yeah, he's that's dead. The animation you see there for him dying is exactly how you die too. Uh, you disappear into like a weird blood mist kind of a thing. And as always, you get the life max up, which fully restores your health. Finally, I think this is a better sword. Oops. <laughs> By one, but that's 
skill better. It's got a little bit more range. Um, it doesn't have a special move though. Now once we get the wolf, you can come back down and that pop right there is a health up. And of course the elevator's not unlocked yet, but we'll take care of that in just a sec. Uh, that's the library right there. We'll be going there in just a minute. Um, you just gotta do some things out here real quick. These guys right here drop one of the best items in the game. It's called the Talisman. Um, if you can get two of them, you can literally not be hurt. You watch little shadows of yourself uh, fly away from your body as you're getting hit. It's awesome. Um, there's our wolf form right there. Uh, in here, you want to go in here real quick. Uh, this is one of the first warp rooms you can get to. And you want to use it right away. Just hold up or tap up and it warps you around. It should warp us to uh, the horse symbol, yep. This takes you back to the that first area of the castle you've seen me go through a couple of times now. So this speeds up our warping process. You just boop. Grab that so our hearts go up. Um, we're not going to go through there, we don't need to. get the one up on you. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> okay, so here's how you activate the elevator. Just keep swinging at it. Jesus. I am sucking it up on this episode today. you get the, the wolf dash spell, you have to find that. It looks just like the normal wolf symbol. Then we can do start doing the super speed dash, but right now we can just do it. You double tap it to run, double tap forward. If you hold up while the wolf, if the wolf actually jumps a little higher, it's kind of funny. But you can't use it in elevator. damage as you do on your cool weapon. Um, he is a little harder to hit because he has a smaller hitbox kind of a thing. If I ever drop a talisman, I'm going to lose my mind. Because <laughs> if you have just one, it's like a... 
probably a 35% chance to, to take damage from attack. If you have both of them on, it's 100. It's, oh, I love it so much. Alright, we're gonna go into the library and get our learn on. Uh, there is an upside down castle. Uh, like where everything is reversed. If you come into the library, you can get uh, one of the best weapons in the game. It's called the uh, Chrysogrip. It swings four to six times for every uh, button push, of s or every square button push. And you don't have to stop swinging while you're moving. You're moving. It's a literal continuous swing. You can just walk and decimate everybody. It's freaking amazing. Uh, the library is also a good place to stock up on uncursed items. They're in the lanterns throughout the library. Not sure what we're doing right now. Oh, but this is where, in the regular castle, this is also where you'll find the shop for the library. They'll sell you things because he knows who you are. And better armor. Hooray! You'll notice like his normal chest doesn't change. The only thing on Alucard you'll ever notice changes is cloak. Which is cool because he gets some pretty badass cloaks. But... And no, you don't ever get like shoes that make him walk faster. That is right. He's literally straight. <laughs> as fast as Alucard ever moves, unless he's in the wolf. Form. The bat can kind of tear ass too. He's got a, a what they call the wing smash spell. For the bat that if uh, once you use it, it sends you across the entire screen. Like it'll just send you flying. It's awesome. These things can curse you and poison you. Like that. <laughs> you grab your uncurse, hit the button. Boop. Back to normal. Otherwise you have to wait, which sucks. And the reason you'll notice me jump a lot. Uh, because you can get extra hits in for some reason. Like you'll all of a sudden see me land like three or four really fast sword swings because it just like it breaks the game kind of. Uh, the books can drop some pretty decent cash from time to time. Um, there's a couple of them that are books upstairs from here. They're, they're, it's going to drop like a thousand dollars. It's uh, seldomly happened, but it's still cool. Oh, yeah, we want to get this because now we can see names of our enemies here. Dun, dun, dun. It's been a long time, old one. Oh, 
It's you, Master Alucard. You, what Master do Alucard. you need? I need your help. Your master, I, I cannot you see under his chair there, the kind of a the master. Um, you won't you go under that. Reward. You need the uh, gravity boots really? to do anything with that. You'll that super jump up and you'll tell me what you need. And this is where you also sell your gems. Thank you. They're like they're not the rings aren't for anything else but that. You can also buy, uh, in this. buy tactics for bosses. I'm interested in this. the enemy list of things you've run into so far. I'm interested uh, in this. Mostly you like you want to buy the jewel of open. You can buy potions and throwing weapons. The library card whoops you right back to the library right here in front of the shop, so it's kind of handy. Like I can buy a mace right now if I want to, I might attack power a little bit, or the saber. Or, you know, better armor, things like that. Um, his shop pretty much kind of stays the same. Oh yeah, there's these uh, the actual cool cloaks. The Joseph's one where you can actually set the color to whatever you want. Um, buy the castle map while you're here, because then it opens up everything so you can kind of see better where you're going. I'm going to go ahead and buy the saber because I want more damage. Thank you! Alright, I'll buy the shield. Need the hat. Yeah, don't bother buying the hat, you'll find something better anyway. Same thing with the armor, don't bother. Now, his shop does update as the more castle you uncover. But it's never anything special. Farewell for now. And that will do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just switch my equipment around here. I didn't buy anything else special. So now, as you can see, we have all the map of the basic of the normal castle. Um, you can see there are some spots that aren't marked, but we'll get to that later. So that'll do it for this episode, guys. We've got uh, some new equipment found the shop, and I will see you back on the couch.